Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to change the color codes in Essentials. So basically what I mean is like when you join the server for the first time um, I'm talking about like you can change the MOTD text. As you can see I've changed the MOTD TD text. But I'm talking about text like this. Okay. So on a clock, whatever, this gold color and this red color. I want to show you how to change all of the full messages and stuff without having to memorize everything and just modifying the file. So you can spread this around to another copy of a server or something later down the line. There's also not a lot of documentation on this so I figured out how to do it and I'm hoping this video will be very helpful for people who are trying to figure out how to do it. Now let's get into it. The first thing I would recommend is that I would make a backup of that file, the essentials file, somewhere. So that's off of your server. So I'm going to go on the documents. I already have one here, but I'm just going to show you what I mean by this. Take this essentials file and copy it over here. I recommend you actually copy it, not move it. I just have it on the server, an actual like um, hosted server. That is the IP, if you were wondering. Anyway. This is Essentials 2.x, okay? And then I recommend you create another copy of the one that you're actually going to modify. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. This isn't going to stay on my desktop, though. But we'll just go ahead and paste that on. Now, two programs I recommend you have installed. The first program I recommend you have installed is Notepad++, because that's the one we're going to use. The second program I recommend you have installed is WinRAR. I'm going to link both of those programs in the description. You just install them like any other program. Okay. First thing, you want to open up Essentials. You can kind of just double click it, or if you don't have it, or if like your jar files are set for something else, you can right click it and you can click open with WinRAR. Okay. Anyway. After you do that, you want to take this um, messages underscore en dot properties. This stands for messages. Ing this is all the messages that pull up when you have English enabled, which is probably like most things. So just copy that to your desktop, okay? After that, right click this and click on open with notepad. One thing, there's two things I want to tell you. First, or there's one, first of all, you're going to be like, where are all the color codes? Color codes in here are different because Essentials is what registers color codes with the and sign to begin with. But in the deep in configs, this is how it's registered slash U00A7. Okay. And then the number or letter after it stands. So basically, this slash U00A7 stands for that and sign. Okay, so that in here is the replacement to the and sign. And then whatever number or letter is after it represents the color, format, etc. Okay. I'm not going to be doing any formatting really, so that's fine. I'm just changing some colors and adding a prefix. The second thing that you might ask is say, like, Holy crap, man, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. There's 558 different things in here. That's going to take forever. It doesn't have to, okay? It doesn't have to. I know I got my counting wrong. It's more like 554, okay? Don't judge me for that. Or my math, okay? My math's probably bad, too. But it doesn't have to be that way. What I recommend doing is that I f if you're trying to replace... so. I'm going to replace the yellow color, so I'm going to find the ZU007 and then 6. That's the gold color. But I'm going to copy this equal sign. I'm going to use this equal sign to the advantage for my prefix, okay? You can just go ahead and copy that. Then you want to click up here at search, and then you want to find um, replace. You can probably already tell how this is becoming a lot easier, okay? You can click here and just find next, make sure it's finding the right thing. And then I'm going to paste that in there. You can also right click and paste it. I just prefer shortcuts. And then I'm going to actually format it here. So the first color codes I want for my prefix is 8 for the brackets. And then I'm going to paste this in again. I'm going to delete that equal sign. Do not put equal signs in front of the 
things. I just need the equal sign here to represent the equal sign after the um, supposed event. I'm going to change this to B and I'm going to put Sunopix. That's the name of my server. Okay. And then I'm going to put this in again for a new color code, delete that e equal sign. And in fact, I'll just copy this part of it. And then I'm going to put, um, delete this and I'm going to put another 8. And then I'm going to put a space in there because if I don't, anything that's printed after this will not have a spacing between this part, that bracket, and the actual text in which there needs to be. After you do that, you can go ahead and click on replace all. And as you can see, the, all the first parts will have been updated to have that. Second thing you want to do is this is a lot simpler. You want to delete this equal sign. Like you generally, if the first part of your text is that color, you want everything after the notice text to be the same color too. Because if you still do find next, any of these that come after, um, yeah, any of that text that comes after the red um, commands or like different information that they want you to notice is in red it will return it back to yellow so those still exists let me find a good example of that right here as you can see it would turn red to see for f fire for something seconds and then it turns back to yellow for the period you want to replace all of those with the color code you want so I want to replace that with 8 and then I want to replace all and then as you can see it replaced that now about those red messages I want to replace those too so I want to find U00A7C and then I want to find next just to make sure it's finding it as you can see the item whatever okay that's probably amount anyway this will change everything I want to change this color to a dark green so I'm gonna put that as two and then we want to replace all and the last color I wish to replace is E this is mostly for the settings menu those dashes are dash uh, bright yellow I want to make those um, a dark gray so this find next make sure it's finding it and there's some other things that it comes up as that but I want those to be dark gray so I'll do replace all and as you can see that updated now you can go ahead and save this file Okay, as you can see, it was saved. Now there's this messages. Now you want to open up the one on the desktop here. Probably don't need. I'll just close that other one. And then you want to drag this in here and click on OK. Then you can go ahead and close this. Now you want to put this file and copy it on your server. See why you wanted the documents? The one in the documents is the original one. Yes, I want to replace it. And then, one thing I'm going to say is after you do this, don't reload Essentials. Restart the server entirely. You could reload the server, but that's not recommended. Just restart the server. So I'll restart the server. And this is another method I'm using to connect to my server. If you want a guide on um, how to set up a server through the web method I'm doing it as, you can ask for a video, and I may do one. but I also like using this service this is I'll have you know that this is a service that's not just for doing anything you can host any kind of server these are Linux servers that's why I'm not like in some weird interface on the internet because I'm too lazy for that or I guess I'm more I'm too active for that I guess anyways it's starting up you might hear a little discord ding or something because I have discord SRV Okay, now I'll log back onto the server. And as you can s okay, hold on. It's loading. And as you can see, it worked. Everything is here is in green. So let's do times. Times that 1000. As you can see, everything is green and it's got that Sunopix tag in front of it, just the way how I wanted it. That is pretty nice, right? Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, please leave a like. Uh, one thing that you should know is that this MOTD part, probably as you saw with this beginning, was gray and green. 
Why? Because that's a different way of editing that part. That's your MOTD. I'll just show you how I did the MOTD real fast. The MOTD is a lot simpler. All you gotta do is that you gotta get go into your essentials folder in, on your server. And I'm just gonna do this because there's actually something I wanna add to it. So here um I guess I can add it too, but where's the essentials folder? I, why can I not find it? This is my problem. I waste so much time because for some reason I can just never find any folder in here that I'm actually trying to find. Hey, where is the folder? This is oh, it's right here. Okay, and then you just edit this MOTD.txt and it's all in there. You can use the and signs and everything. It just works. It's a lot easier to change that. And then after you change that, you can just reload essentials, but that's pretty simple for you to understand, so I'm not going to like walk it through it. But anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave a like, or I guess you don't have to, but you're welcome. Thank you, and see you later.